Hello Zebrahurd, welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we started our grand adventure here in this brand new Pokemon world. Today, we are getting started with, I guess, our entry into the Galaxy team. We are now a Pokemon researcher with the village, which is pretty cool. So first off, we need to go to the mirror to change our outfit into the official gear. Our current outfit is, you know, nice, but not very protective. Do you wanna change your outfit? Of course I do. Time to put on your Survey Corps uniform and your Survey Corps sandals. Uh, which are not available. Oh, and here, here we go. So, Survey Corps uniform, and then Survey Corps sandals. Wow, we're looking good. I like the colors so far. All right then, so let's go ahead and finish changing. Would you like to go with this outfit? Yes. All right, well, hopefully we fit in a little bit better now. You change into your Survey Corps uniform. I wonder if there's any stat changes that happen with these different uniforms or maybe different benefits, because if we're gonna keep the Breath of the Wild comparison, now is a big thing in that game, is that different outfits would give different benefits. Look how well our Survey Corps uniform suits you. It's almost as if the captain had a tailor just for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Oh wow, get a nice hat. Now present yourself to the commander. Ooh, intimidating all the way up the big stairs. Report to Commander Kamado in his office on the third floor of the Galaxy Hall. Our commander's room is on the third floor of headquarters. Now present yourself to the commander. Commander Kamado's office is on the third floor. Keep up the good work, new kid. All right. Our sandals look a little more akin to slippers, in my opinion, but you know, overall pretty cool outfit. So third floor. I don't think we'll trouble ourselves talking to too many other people just for now. Don't want to be rude and storm into offices that aren't where we're welcomed. But I guess this is uh, Commander Akato, was it? Already forgot, I'm sorry. I've been waiting for you. Hello. Whoa, I like their outfit, Kamado. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hmm, so you are Zebra. Yes, sir. Hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in a combat. Uh, charge at him. hi -ya! Oh no. I was not ready for a full on battle. Hmm, you got vigor. I'll give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But you passed a trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilee Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. I'm on it. But I warn you, Zebra. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. The Galaxy Team's entry trial complete. Cool, so we get our first mission done. So, the commander has also accepted you. But understand this. You begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. That doesn't sound good. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer towards that goal of yours, to seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you will need this. You obtained a recipe for crafting Pokeballs. 
a recipe for crafting Pokeballs from scratch. Required materials, one apricorn and one tumblestone. And $3,000 as well. You will have to buy the necessary materials. Gotcha. That's nice of them to get us started. Akari, you're an expert on crafting yourself. Teach your new recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain Silene. Now, as the experienced craft person here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. You can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. You can even make our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. Think where, where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the Craftworks. Mission, the basics of crafting. I'll have to be the guide for that one. So I think the guide just sort of gives us the little bullet points on where to go. So that's always useful to have. Visit the Craftworks to learn how to craft items. Hello. Can I talk to Silene right now? I guess I can't. Silene seems busy. I won't bother them. And then anybody else out here? I don't think anybody will say anything. So we'll just leave. Focus on our main mission for now. Well done, earning a place in our team. My name is Anth. I'm the local clothier. Or clothier? I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. But yeah, we saw you earlier. The, pro the professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you come. I do hope they fit. Another change of clothes? You received an everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail yourself of the village's humble shops. I will, thank you, Anth. This way to the craft work, Zebra. All right, so let's head over. Looks like you've got some skills, kid. Good thing too, it's dangerous outside the village. See how we're making some great progress. I do want to see what uh, our buddy Benny has to say. They say hunger is the best. Oh, you are, you're not gonna say anything, not even a congrats, buddy. All right, getting some tough love from them. That's okay. You can use the workbench here at the Craftworks anytime you need to make an item in the village. Oh, neat. And I'll supply what you need to make your first Pokeballs once you're ready to begin. Call it my way of saying congratulations on joining us. Just spend the money you got from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is best. Go to the workbench and choose an item to craft, in this case, a Pokeball. Crafting items. You can use the workbenches in Jubilee Village and the base camps to craft Pokeballs and other items. Crafting items requires a recipe and the necessary materials. Go to the workbench and choose an item to craft, in this case, a Pokeball. Are you looking for someone? No, oh, I just want to say hello. So let's try this out. Our only option right now, a Pokeball. Uh, so one Apricorn and one Tumblestone. Let's go for it. Craft. You made a Pokeball. You put it in your satchel. So I'm guessing we'll be making a lot of those. The basic of crafting completed. Ho ho, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. Thank you very much. You'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, that the that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in a Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. You received a Pokedex. So we finally got it. It's just a simple little notebook. It's so charming seeing these more simplified versions of the high-tech gear and gadgets that we get in the other Pokemon games. A volume for compiling the collected results of much Pokemon research. Professor Laventon continually adds to it with each report made on new Pokemon species. So here's our Pokedex. So far we've seen seven Pokemon and we've caught four of them. Uh, and you can see most of that has been done in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Tasks with unreported data, 10. So we can open this up. Gotcha, so we can go and catch some of these Pokemon and as you can see, we'll get some data on them. Uh, but what's weird is, I guess catching these ones in the challenge didn't really count for our Pokedex, so we'll have to re-catch them so that we can get some more information on them. And then these are some other ones that we've seen. Oh yeah, because we battled that one trainer. In our first battle, we saw that Togepi. Gotcha. 
Okay, very cool. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. You'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokedex. The same goes for me, of course. I've also got Pokemon to research as a Survey Corps member. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could, uh, could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldlands Camp whenever you are ready, my good zebra. Getting to work on research tasks. And want to be the guide. So yeah, very exciting. We have our official Pokedex and we'll get started working on it as soon as we can. Hey, excuse me, I couldn't help but overhear. If you're going to the Fieldlands Camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? Sure. I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. Accepting requests. People who have something to ask you will have a request icon displayed above them. If you fulfill the request, you may receive a nice reward. So this is sort of a form of side quest in the game, I suppose, and that is definitely something I want to do. Uh, I'm sure the more side quests we accomplish, the more stuff we can unlock, and that'll always be good. I had a ton of fun doing the side quests and stuff in Breath of the Wild, and I feel like just exploring the world and getting to know people and the characters, all the citizens and stuff, was a lot of fun. So I hope that this seems, you know, present here. Hey, so there's this Pokemon called Wurmple. Have you heard of it? Yeah. Well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Laventon, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance to become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Evol evolving Pokemon. Some Pokemon can undergo evolution, which changes their appearance and stats. If one of your Pokemon has met the requirements to evolve, you'll be able to select the evolve option when viewing the Pokemon in your satchel. Oh, so we actually have to choose when they evolve like that. That's interesting. And so I decided I want to raise a Wurple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurple, could you let me have it? There will be a reward in it for you, I promise. Just get me a Wurple if you can. Quest one, Wurmple can evolve. So that might be worth working on. I don't know if I'll track it for right now, but that'll definitely be something I actively keep in mind as we're doing our main quest adventures. There'll be a word in it for you, I promise, just give me a Wurmple if you can. So definitely, let's take the time now to go and get as many side quests started as possible, because chances are we can get these done while we're doing other things and get some nice multitasking. So this is uh, Marley. You're the newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The Survey Corps must have to get out and about to compile that Pokedex. Book they're working on, right? Well, on your way, kindly do me a favor. Find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures, but when I see Starly, I feel simply whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see Starly's entry in that Pokedex the moment you've completed it. Adorable Starly. This is so cool, and it's just, it's so interesting because in every other Pokemon game, Pokemon are vastly seen across the world as these companions, these things that we rely on and live in tandem with. But here in this game, they're more feared than anything. Those ears, hmm. This is Toshi. I know Shinx's ears have odd markings on the insides, but what were they? No use, I can't remember. This'll keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the Survey Corps? If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I've gotta see one in my, with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. What did Shinx's ears look like? All right, we'll definitely try to catch a Shinx then, or at least another one? I have one right here. Got one of those Shinxes to show me? Yes, I do. Select. Alrighty, let's have a peek at, the, at these round ears. <laughs> They're like little shimmers. That's it. Its ears have that yellow cross pattern on them, kind of like a star. Can't tell you what a relief this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Oh, that throat's my brain and the bone's a thought. Thanks for helping me get that bone out. What the Jinx ears looks like, completed. We get three potions for that, that's quite nice. 
The marking on Shinx's ears are different than Luxio's. And who is this? Is this, I guess, an artist? Here at the photography studio, you can enjoy taking photos together with your Pokemon. Neat. Ever considered preserving a lovely memory with your Pokemon as a photograph? Come on in, give it a try. Huh. Maybe we'll slip in and do that now, because if not, I will certainly forget. Of course, in a game like this, exploring is sort of a big part of it, so I'm not gonna sweat it if we don't, you know, go out to our adventure right away. Oh, this is a nice room. We got the, the backdrop for proper lighting, all the light reflectors there. I'm in the business of photographing folk with their Pokemon. Why not have your photo taken? Sure. So, I would like to take a photo with a Rowlet. What would you like to do? Prepare a Pokemon, change the screen, change the lens filter, take photos, or never mind. Prepare a Pokemon. Select. All set. We'll have you stand to the right of your Pokemon. It will look lovely. What would you like to do? Prepare a Pokemon, change the screen. So we could probably have multiple Pokemon, but I think Rowlet and I would be good for this first photo. Change your pose. Arms folded, hands behind back. Uh, one arm out, arms open high, open slow. There's a whole bunch of options, it seems. Brace for battle, let's try that one. Uh, and can we direct our Pokemon? Look fierce, there you go, perfect. Oh wait, oh, was I supposed to? All right, start shooting. You can press the capture button to save still images of your game. You can view the, these screenshots in the album on the home menu of your Nintendo Switch system. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> Took the photo. Very cute. A memory to hold forever. So we'll, we'll stop for now. But I'm sure as we get more Pokemon, we'll take more photos. That was definitely fun. But yeah, it's sort of weird. I have these Pokemon in my position, but they're not recorded in the Pokedex because I guess I caught them before I got the Pokedex. Or maybe now. Yeah, it's so weird. Like, here's my Starly, right? Uh, it says, report to the professor about the zoo species you managed to catch. Okay, so maybe I need to talk to the professor first. Speaking of which, where is the professor? I'm not really sure. So maybe I should run around and just see if I can't find them real quick. So I couldn't find the professor. It's something I'll see for later, I suppose. No, I don't know what's going on up here. It looks like there's Oh, a Pokemon battle happening. I don't want to get too sidetracked. I want to talk to this person real quick and then we'll go back to our main focus. The Galaxy team is made up of several corps. Let's see, there's the security, construction, and agriculture corps, and a few others besides. Yep, we're part of the survey corps. I think it's cores. Have I been pronouncing it wrong this whole time? I'm not really sure. I might be, and if so, I apologize. That was my intention to mispronounce something. Uh. Yeah, I think it might be actually core. Uh, the way I think we're heading out now, so let's go ahead and talk to the to Ras. Heading outside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. So our goal is just for right now to head back out this way. I head to the Obsidian Fieldlands and speak to Professor Laventon about research tasks. Let's go. So our goal is to get a report down for Starly for that one side quest, and then also, what was it? I don't quite remember, Wurmple. Wurmple was the one. Right oh, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my boy. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for your reference anytime. Research tasks are tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon species has a different number of variety and variety of research tasks. Press the down button to open your Pokedex then check what kinds of research tasks are available for your Pokemon you've registered. So maybe just catching a Pokemon isn't enough? Hmm. When you focused on a wild Pokemon in the field using the ZL button, you can also instantly check the research tasks that species can the species by pressing the down button to open the, your Pokedex right to that page. Some Pokemon have some unusual research tasks, so be sure to check them out. 
You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so, and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. One last piece of advice, Zebra. If you see a wild Pokemon's attack coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge? Here, watch closely and remember what I do so you can do it later. Hup. Whoa. That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of wild Pokemon's attacks. That way, hopefully you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. We don't only have to worry about our Pokemon's health, but our own as well. The security cores had, a, had to collect me when I got the business end of a Shinx Thundershock. But don't you worry, I've got lots of experience to draw on and I'll teach you plenty. Well, thank you very much. Getting to work on research tasks, follow Akari to learn some tips for carrying out research tasks. Let's also talk to the professor. Research tasks aren't simply about catching Pokemon. They'll require to you to carry out all sorts of exciting field work. For now, I suggest you listen to Akari's advice. You'll have find everything much clearer with her help. Or would you rather return to Jubilee Village? No. As you wish, best of luck carrying out your research tasks out there. Let's talk to you really quickly. If you're heading out into the wilds, best be well prepared. So we can either rest, see our Pokemon, do some shopping, or would you like to buy? Ooh. So, might be good to have a couple of everything. We don't have any revives, a medicine that could be used to revive a single Pokemon that's fainted. It also restores half that Pokemon's HP. So, we'll go ahead and buy three of these. Oh, that's actually expensive. Okay, well, I did it anyways. Um, we also have Cake Lore Base, a type of field provision that enhances the flavor of other foods it is mixed with. I'll just get maybe three of these as well. These are a lot more affordable. There we go. Okay, so let's get back to it then. And there is Akari back on Aspiration Hill. Memories from last episode. Now, let me sh share some Survey Core wind Wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with the ZL button, then press the down button to open the Pokedex. You'll see what tasks you have for that Pokemon. You might have noticed that you have research tasks to do with how many Buddha you've caught. That's right, catching one, just, or just one, isn't enough. You need two, then four, then more and more. Oh, <laughs> so cute. And when it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now. If you want, I'll go on ahead. So yeah, as Akari just said, we might have to catch more than one Pokemon for it to really get the full registration on the Pokedex. Follow Akari to learn some tips on carrying out research tasks. So for right now, I wonder if I threw out a berry, would that distract Boodoo for long enough? Uh, you gonna take that, buddy? Or should I go grab it real quick? You don't seem interested. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we have our dodge button now, it's pretty cool. There we go. I didn't do anything. Okay, now they're running, but there we go. And will we catch you? We didn't catch you. Oh yeah, by the way, I press down, there we go. So number call you can see goes from one all the way to 25 Bidoof. So it's gonna be a lot of work. Number of heavy specimens you've caught. So I guess the heavier they are, that could matter. Number defeated, number of different time, different forms you've obtained. I guess there's two different forms of Bidoof. Does that mean the barrel, the evolution? Number of you've evolved, haven't done that yet. Investigated the Bidoof bother the village, method unknown. I didn't know there were any that were bothering the village. So we, I guess there's maybe some story components to it as well. Okay, let's try again. But will throwing truly be enough? I think at this point we might just have to get our Pokemon out a little bit more, but we do get a level up for our own Bidoof. So if we go back to our Pokemon here, yeah, we do just have two Bidoof hanging out. 
Now I do want to be a bit careful with my Pokeballs just because I don't have many right now. So let's go for a battle and hope that maybe that can tilt the odds in our favor for a guaranteed catch. So we'll do a gust for now and hope it's not a one, take to, one hit takedown. It's not actually, that's good. But if this is gonna use rollout, super effective. One more time, we'll do gust. Hopefully get it into the red. Yes, we will. Okay, it's looking around. So this is our chance to switch over and throw a Pokeball. Yes. It's weird that we don't have to aim it up in the battle. Come on, come on. Nice, so there's another bit of caught. Phew, very exciting stuff. And what I'm also interested in, if I, uh, oh, not what I meant to do, there you go. We got a medicinal leak. Yeah, I guess we just wanna try different things like that. Like there is a tree over this way that uh might have something for us if I didn't throw it right through the branch, whoopsies. Oh, that still worked. We got some apricorns, which we need to crop Pokeballs. So stuff like that is good to keep in mind, for sure. But I guess we'll go back to Akari, and it looks like there's some other people out here too. Hi. I think you've got it. But as a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon to check your research tasks for it. It's just the L then down. Try checking your tasks for Starly next. So I wonder if this will mention any side quests that we have. One of your tasks is to catch a Starly without being spotted, right? For that task, try catching them while hiding in some tall grass. I'll go wait for you up ahead. Come catch up once you've finished some tasks. I will try my best for sure. Follow a car to learn some tips for carrying out research tasks. A car is way out that way. I'll talk to this person, a galaxy member. The more energy a Pokemon's got, the harder it will be to catch. If you battle Pokemon and lower its HP, or maybe in foot paralysis with a move like Shinx's Thundershock, it should be easier to catch. And that's why it might be good to have Shinx a more active member of our team. A little lower leveled, but that's okay. Yeah, if I throw Shinx out like this, will that do anything? I'm trying to figure out like what what objects can get, get us something in return. It looks like there's a little Pokemon doing something over there, but we got more medicinal links, or leaks. Oh, it's real quiet. But yeah, focus on this. And while we're looking at Starly, we have to catch, once again, we need to catch 25 of them. Uh, number you've caught without being spotted. I don't know if I've been spotted just yet. Number defeated, the number of different forms you've obtained again. Oh, oh no, I didn't mean to do it this way. Okay, we're gonna, <laughs> I sort of made a mistake. Starly is keeping its guard up. Starly ran away. Okay, so we don't wanna catch Starly that way. That was a little silly of me. It wasn't what I was intending. Oh, there's a Shinx over there. Wow, this is so cool. Now that we're sort of getting into the the thick of it, this is such an interesting type of gameplay. Word is out here making moves. I missed. Oh, awkward. Oh, Star was gonna go run away. Okay, I thought I was maybe gonna go check it out. Okay, well, while that's happening, I need to work on my aim, especially as I'm running out of Pokeballs here. Shinx, could you help me with that? Get some orange berries. And that actually gives experience for Shinx. How exciting. Maybe I should take a look at Shinx over this way, since I might have to wait for the Starlies to come back. I sort of made some foolish mistakes there. Uh, oh, wrong button, sorry. What are some of my goals with Shinx here? So same thing, number caught, number defeated. I don't know how many of these I need to actually get it properly in the Pokedex, you know? Do I need all of them? It's gonna take a while. Times you've seen it use bites. So it seems like the more you battle Shinx, the better off it would be. Huh. We don't have any ground type Pokemon, I don't think. Well, I do have the Doof. So that might be, but they are very low level. This Bidoof's a little higher. So I'll give this a try, I think. Go for it, boom. So we're battling Shinx now. What does Bidoof have? Shinx is looking around, fight, and we'll use Raw, which is maybe ground, maybe rock. Was that super effective? Fixated on using its Raw, it was not super effective, so. Must just be rock type. Can we check that information? Move info. Uh, the user rolls into the target to deal damage. 
then becomes fixated on using this move. So it doesn't say what typing it is, but I think it's rock. Which ground is super effective, but rock is not. Oh, we defeated you. Which once again, wasn't exactly what I was trying to do. I was trying to lower them enough so that we can actually catch it. I know I'm getting a little sidetracked here, but it's a lot of fun, to be honest with you. Oh no, it's not what I meant to do. Okay, I gotta be very careful with that. I have limited resources after all. There we go, we're trying this again. Going against this Shinx, who's level four, so you'd think two rollouts should be fine. We'll try our best first with a rollout, maybe then a tackle. This boot is getting a bit beat up, but... Hmm. Oh, poor Bidoof. This is looking a little dangerous. I think I'll throw out one more rollout. Got it. This is quick attack. I think that's gonna take Bidoof out. Unfortunate. So this Bidoof is not gonna get much experience from here on out, but that's okay. We'll get uh, Rowlet out for now. Swap Pokemon. And I want to now switch and throw a Pokeball. It's pretty low, so I can only hope. Come on. Yes, awesome. That's it, you caught Shinx. So there we go, another Shinx caught. I wanna sneak over here real quick, just so that we can get this. We've seen quick attack seven out of 12 times. So, good to know. I'll get Rowlet out. If we wanna get some good experience on Rowlet, I guess we should get our have Rowlet obtain as much of that as possible, because it's some easy experience. Okay, so let's run back on the main path and try again at capturing the Starly without making any goofy mistakes this time. What did that say? Could I shake a tree or something? Because I had a little hand icon in the center there for a second. Or was that me just clicking something by accident? I don't know what I did. Huh, weird. I will let's duck down. This Starly hasn't seen me yet and I want to keep it that way. I gotta make sure to lay in my throw this time. The problem is Australia's moving away from me. Got it, okay. Hopefully that's enough, please. Yes, awesome. So that's great. One extra Starly for the collection. So we still gotta move down this way where there's another Shinx hanging out. But since I just caught one, I might not worry about that as much. Trying to be careful, don't want to scare any potential catches away. Ooh, is that something new? No, it's not, it's Charlie again. That's okay. Trying to get nice and close, and then toss. So let's see, if that, is that another catch? Yes it is. Number caught, three out of three. Pretty good. Number you've caught without being spotted, now it's three out of five. So I guess we just move on to the next objective there. Pretty good. So we're still making our way over to Akari. I think I'm heading the right way. That being said, I can also get some more medicinal leaks. Can never have too much, I assume. Okay, we'll toss it over there. Oh, and there is another, uh, Galaxy team member over here. Oh, and there's another Bidoof hanging. I didn't see you before. Maybe I can sneak up on you. Or maybe you've noticed me. I'm not really sure. It says we have a team two different forms though. Huh. What was the other form of Bidoof I caught? Maybe that means the different genders of them? I'm not quite sure. Interesting. Uh, either way, Oh, I just realized I have Rowlet out, not a Pokeball. That is tricky, I gotta get in the mindset about that. Either way, it's still good to defeat them because that's something else we can do for the Pokedex. And it's good experience for our Pokemon. Bidoof is keeping this guard out, this can just roll out, which is super hard against Rowlet. I do have to be careful with that because I think that Rowlet's gonna be Flying Grass. I don't know how this will be. I don't know if this is very effective at all. Oh, it is. There we go, defeated Bidoof. And um, before we do too much more, can I use, how do I, 
go into my inventory, I suppose. Is that something I could do? Here we go. Could I use these on my Pokemon? A berry that can be fed to a Pokemon restores HP by 20 points. You can also throw this berry near wild Pokemon to draw their attention, which I've tried to do before. By the way, we can use this to heal up Rowlet a little bit so I can save the potions for maybe a more important circumstance, seeing how we get these pretty often. But what about the other berries? Like we have cherry berry. Uh, it can be fed to a Pokemon that cures paralysis. You can also throw this berry near wild Pokemon to draw their attention once again. Okay. Ooh, and I wonder what this is. So let's swap over to Rowlet real quick. Oh, some kind of gemstone. We got Tumblestone, which we need to craft more Pokeballs and Stardust as well, which is new. Let's take a look at that then real quick. We'll read the description for the new stuff that we have. Yeah, like the Apricorn. It's Apricorn and Tumblestone that craft the Pokeballs, a fruit whose shell can be used to form the capsules of all manner of Pokeballs when crafting them from scratch. Its proper name is actually Brown Apricorn. And over this way, we have the Tumblestone. When combined with an Apricorn, this mysterious tumbled stone can draw out the properties required to forge a Pokeball. Then down this way, the Medicinal Leak. Required for crafting medicinal compounds, this vegetable is found growing across the Hisui region and is known for the wafers as a wafer's friend. And then finally, this new item, the Stardust. Lovely red sand that flows between the fingers with a loose silky feel. It can be sold at a low price to the general store. So I think there's not really too much of a use for this, but we can sell it for some extra cash, which I think is gonna be pretty useful in this game. You should have your Pokemon smash open sparkling rocks for you. You'll find tumblestones inside. The same tumblestones you need to craft Pokeballs, which is what we just did, so. Oh, there's a Weasel, my favorite Pokemon. We're definitely cashing that one. So what does Akari have to say? Around here, you can find Pokemon called Weasel. It's got an aggressive disposition. So I guess that means we'll have to battle it if we want to catch it. Luckily, Rowlet will have an advantage. Uh, that means it'll try to hit you with its moves, just like Shinx, and you'll need to battle it to catch it. I'm on it. The danger is the taking damage. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of the screen turn red. Damage goes away over time, but you won't begin to recover if you're still being targeted by a wild Pokemon. If you take further damage after the edges of the screen have turned red, you'll become overwhelmed and black out. Now, that wanna be good. And speaking of which, your research task for Weasel includes seeing it use a certain move. To be precise, you have to see it use the move in battle. That's right, some tasks require battling. Now, I'll go on ahead. You take care of some Weasel's research tasks, then come talk to me. I'm on it. Oh, this is gonna be exciting though, for sure. So let's get to it, let's see if we can catch this Weasel. Like I said before, Rowlet should have a typing advantage. Oh my. So if I were to, just trying to take a look at it. I don't know why it's sort of being weird. Why can't I, there we go. Okay, so for Weasel. No, this is Togepi. What'd I do? Weasel. For Weasel. Number caught, you know, same thing. I don't know what the red arrows mean. Maybe they have a higher value, more importance to actually registering the Pokemon. There's some things I'm sort of having a hard time figuring out. But defeating them, catching them, uh, times you've seen it use Aqua Jet would probably be pretty important. Number number you've defeated with electric type moves. That would be cool. So maybe we should switch over to Shinx. Okay, so let's quickly switch and let's see if we have a Shinx that hopefully, uh, scary. Uh, Battle begins. Hopefully there's Shinx does some Electro type moves. Ooh, that was powerful to start with. Uh, we do have a Thunder Shock with the Shinx. Now Bleasel's level three, so there's a bit of a level advantage here, and ooh, that's good though. Bleasel's gonna use Quick Attack again, which is really powerful for their level, oh my goodness. Um, so let's quickly switch over, throw this Pokeball. Come on. Can we catch my favorite little Bleasel? Yes, we can. That's it, you call Pweezel. Pweezel level three, number call one out of one. Pretty cool. There was a little thing here for a second, and then I wanna lie. That was weird, it was another uh, medicinal leak. But that's so exciting, and we'll definitely use Pweezel sooner or later. But that is nice to know, even if we run out of Pokeballs, we can still progress certain things by just simply defeating the Pokemon. But since Weasel is definitely another Pokemon I want actively on my team, which I don't see here for some reason. Maybe I can swap that out? Uh, Ch 
machine or no? Hmm. How would I go about doing that, I wonder? I don't see Weasel here. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Now I can check the summary of the Pokemon, but that doesn't really help me too much. You can also change your name here, which is nice. So I don't need to talk to anybody to actively change the nicknames of the Pokemon. I don't know if that's something I'm gonna worry about too much. Yeah, weird. I don't know where the Weasel went, but I'm sure we'll figure that out eventually. So let's not sweat it for now. We'll eventually figure it out. If we could get some level ups for Rowlet, that also helps. So we'll tell us Rowlet over here. Get some extra experience that way. Some more tumble stones as well. Okay. Oh, what's over here? I think it's a Bidoof. Go for it, Rowlet. So we've caught a good number of Bidoofs. We caught a B Bidoof unaware. Uh, and if I take a quick, whoa, whoa, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to take a look at the thing, but I guess you can't do that while you're fighting it. Or maybe you have to press a different button. No, it just doesn't tell you why you're battling, which is sort of silly. There's a lot of weird little control things when I'm trying to figure out with this game. I guess we'll figure out as we play more of it. But for right now, I'm just gonna focus on trying to take you out. I guess we do attack twice because we caught it unaware. That's pretty neat. So there we go. And we are going to just keep going, if I can. Got some more of that. And was there another gemstone thing? I don't think so. Can we climb on top of this? Mm, sorta, yeah, okay, neat. Yeah, I don't know if there's climbing in this game like there was in uh, Breath of the Wild. I know the game's not supposed to be exactly Breath of the Wild, but it's, I think, fair to make the comparisons. So I'll toss over Rowlet here, Get some more. We can take on some more Bweezels too. Let's go for it. Well, we'll try to interact with at least one more. So over this way, as you can see. I'm trying to just focus on it, because it's ZL to focus on it. Oh, here we go. But you gotta get so close to it. So, we've caught one of them. Now we should probably try to defeat one and see if we can't see that move Aqua Jet. So to do that, let's switch over to Rowlet. Or even consider Shinx again, the problem with, oh my, I forgot about that. <laughs> I already forgot they can do that. Uh, then two of them are attacking me once, it's not fair. There we go. So that is definitely gonna take some practice. Weasel's looking around, please don't attack me while I'm already fighting one. Uh, can you please go? There we go, Gust. Maybe I could throw, could I throw out more than one Pokemon? Is that something I could do here? Cause there's two weasels. Uh, Shinx, go. Wait, no. Shinx, do you wanna, no, I don't wanna switch to Shinx. That's sort of the thing. Okay, fight for now, and we'll gust. Ah, very confusing. I'm using the wrong one, I need to use the le leaf one. Weasel's gonna use quick attack, and those quick attacks really pack a punch. Those are critical as well. So for now, leaf age, and that should be at least a lot more. They are very low level for how much they hit. It's pretty crazy. This one's level four, so at least we're getting two things done at once, right? Nice. Okay, very cool. So one thing I'm also curious about is that one of the missions that we have for Buizel is seeing it use that one water move. What if I was the one using it? If I have my Bleasel use that water move, oh, and there's Wurmple, will that affect it in any way? With that being said, I still don't have my Bleasel out here, so a bit of a mystery for now, but that'd be good to know for sure. Either way, I certainly wanna try to catch this Wurmple. But yeah, there are some things about this game that are not as simple as they seemed at first. Let me go ahead and toss that out real quick. And do we catch ya? Yes we do, Wurmple caught. No, I don't just wanna leave it at that. There's a couple other Wurmple hanging around, so let's keep busy. There we go. And do we catch this one as well? Ah, oh, we don't. Am I gonna use my last one for this? I don't think so. I'll come back for sure. Cause I'm a bit concerned we don't have any location to craft around here, so probably I'd have to run all the way back if I want to craft some more Pokeballs. But you know, a good lesson though. Stay prepared. Make sure you have plenty of Pokeballs before you head out on an adventure. Let's also get whatever's in this tree, or miss entirely. 
Shanks has got it. We're fine. You're really doing quite well for yourself. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. Oh, thanks. You take a crafting kit, so maybe now I won't have to run back to craft my own Pokeballs. A kit containing everything you might need for crafting, even when there's no workbench around. However, you can only use the materials you have in your satchel. You can select the crafting kit from the key items pocket in your satchel to craft items wherever and wherever you like. However, unlike at a workbench, you'll only be able to use the materials in your satchel, and you won't be able to craft more items than your satchel can hold. So this space is something we'll have to prioritize. And here's a recipe for potions too. You obtained a recipe for crafting potions. Recipe for crafting potions from scratch. Required materials, one ornberry and one medicinal leek, which we've been collecting a lot of both, so that's nice. With a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using any materials you have in your satchel. So long as you've got an apricorn and a tumblestone, you can make a pokeball anytime. Or with an ornberry and a medicinal leek, you can make a potion, so do heal your Pokemon. So that might be more efficient than just using the berry itself. How goes your research? The cover of your Pokedex will tell you if there are tasks you've finished and can report. Gotcha, tasks with unreported data, 22. So we've been heavy at work here. How do we report the data? Not quite sure. Please report back to, the, to Professor Laventon once you've got some research tasks good and done. Sure. Report to your research tasks or, or yeah, tasks to Professor Laventon and earn a sufficient number of Pokemon research points. Okay, well, since we're low on some things, I think the first thing we wanna do is we wanna go to our bag, our satchel, and how do we craft things from here? Uh, good question. Not from here then. Uh, down? No. Huh. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, weird. How do I craft with the new crafting thing they gave me? Maybe I'll find that later. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> it sounds like quite an important thing to use, so. I want to the most of that. But there we go. We'll catch some stuff there. We'll gather some stuff over here. And we'll just try to make our way back. We'll, we'll go in a straight line over this way. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's here. It's not, okay. Jeez, lots to learn, isn't there? Oh. But since we caught one Wurmple, maybe I'll finish this off by trying to catch a second. Should I do this or should we battle? Let's try battling. We'll get some extra experience with this Bidoof. Might be good to keep one of the Bidoofs. Uh, well, let's fight. We'll use Tackle for now. I don't want to do too much damage to little Wurmple. Cause that already gets down to the yellow. Wurmple's looking around. Can I risk going for another tackle, get it into the red? Or will this take it out? Oh, that'll take it out. But there was another Wurmple. So I think we'll be okay. But still, defeating it is something good. Still technically a task complete. I don't want to battle the Starlies if I can avoid it. I thought there was another Wurmple over here, but I guess I'm wrong. Hmm. But if I can get those medicinal leaks one way or another, it is still pretty important. Then over here, there's another. Definitely filling our backpack up there is that worm ball. Once again, I'm trying to get these side missions done as much as I can. This, just like Breath of the Wild, once again, I assume is gonna be a type of game I'm really gonna wanna take my time with. So if I have the chance, I'm gonna do just that. So, haven't seen it use Poison Sting just yet. Uh, I haven't seen light specimens. What is going on with those trees way back there? Sort of flickering. Okay, so here's Wurmple. Now this one's level three, so I think it can handle some of our moves. This would be super effective. Let's hope not too super effective. Oh, perfect, actually. Uh, There's Poison Sang. So that's actually really good. Uh, We're gonna go and throw this Pokeball. Yep. And will that be enough to catch our second Wurmple? Yes, it will. 
All right, so we are fresh out of Pokeballs. So until we figure out a craft, I think we should play it a bit safe. That's some good progress, either which way. And if we run into any other trouble, of course, we can still just battle and win the battles and we'll be okay. Especially with a Shinx nearby, I think the Shinx might end up going for us. A little scary, trying to play it safe. But if I could toss this way up there, can you go and grab that for me? That's actually pretty productive because we could just be tossing it left and right as we're just moving forward. I like it. Like this one right here. You just toss it over, keep running. That is actually really neat. Now what about, say those flowers? Are they anything? I suppose not. Now look at that, we're back at the camp. Hey there, professor. Oh, if it isn't a crafting kit. You must have listened attentively to Akari's teachings. Excellent work, dear boy. This seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. When you submit survey reports, you will receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. You will receive more money if you fulfilled certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. On that note, let me check the research tasks you've completed thus far. Whoa, look at all these Pokemon we've caught. So we've caught a total of 11, uh, 10 or more Pokemon in one report achieved. So I guess there's maybe a little bonuses. Yeah, we get money for this. That's really neat. So we get 1,700. That helps, cause like, I bought a lot of stuff earlier. I was running a little low on money. Mm-hmm, I see, most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. Completing the Pokedex. By carrying out research tasks and submitting survey reports, you'll raise the research levels of the Pokemon species you encounter. If you raise a Pokemon's entry to level 10, that entry will be considered complete, and you will have unlocked all the detailed information to be had about that species. That's actually really exciting. That is so different in such an interesting way. As you carry out tasks and complete the Pokedex entries for different species, you'll also gain Pokemon research points, which you can view on the cover of your Pokedex. Once you've earned a certain number of points, you'll be able to move up through the ranks of the Galaxy Expedition team. So as you can see, we have Rowlet here. Uh, this Pokemon has only just been documented. Investigation is ongoing. More research tasks must be completed to fill it in this Pokemon's entry. Gotcha. So as you can see, something like Shanks, we've already gotten to 10, so this is considered complete. Shakes' his body to generate electricity, its stature, bellies, its aggression. One must be patient to tame this Pokemon. So we get different information because of that. We have its preferred food, some different mushrooms and flowers and such. Um, items carried a cherry berry and a spilled apricorn. So can we get even more information or is, that's sort of where it's interesting. What is the point then of getting all this extra stuff done? Will this get us extra rewards, I wonder? I guess this added information. But uh, that means we will have to complete some more things, but I did want to see, is there any other Pokemon we've completed research for? It doesn't look like it, just Shinx for now. But I think the next one I want to work on then is Starly and Wurmple, which we have a little bit more to go with. Species newly registered or updated, six. So it looks like we're getting some points, which will up our rank. We're almost at the next rank. We'll have to keep working on it. Ah, uh, not quite there yet, I'm afraid. You'll need to complete a few more research tasks before you're ready to go up a rank. I'd recommend you work your way through Bidoof's and Starly's tasks first. Hang in there. Okay, so we're still pretty busy with everything then. I think for right now, it still wasn't explained to me how I used the satchel, but I guess it doesn't matter too much at the moment uh, because I can just simply use this over here. So let's craft a Pokeball for now, yeah. So how do I, okay, yeah. So I probably wanna ca craft a good 30 of them. And I'll need to go get more tumble stones. Luckily, along this mountainside, I saw a couple of those gemstones. Looks like there's something in particular you can report, for you to report at this time, hmm? So what would you like to do now? Continue my excursion, return to the village, gotta go. Let's continue my excursion. That's a tough one to pronounce. If you want to raise your rank within the Galaxy team, you'll need to carry out research tasks. Look at the Pokedex pages of the Pokemon you catch to check the tasks for their species. Then cross them off the list to earn research points. So I think our current goal then is to uh, do that. 
uh, report your research to that so Professor Lamaton and earn sufficient numbers of Pokemon research points, I'm guessing, until we get to the next ranking. And for requests, once again, we need to catch a Wurmple and give it to Beauregard. We'll do that. Um, and then show Marley the complete Pokedex entry for Starly. So for Beauregard, we just need to catch the Wurmple. We don't need the full entry. But for the Starly, we need to fully complete that entry. So I think that's what I'll focus on for now. Where did we last see a Starly? was down this way. And what is that over there? On the floor. Oh, it's a little uh, Apricorn. So I guess we can just find those chilling out. Which is good. Once again, I'm trying to look for more of those. So I'll ignore the Bidoof for now, just because I only have so much time. Wanna, you know, make the most of it, and that would probably be best with Starly. Now, battling Starly doesn't seem to work out so well most of the time. They do run away often. So if I could avoid that, and instead, just focus on not doing that. <laughs> I, I, I messed it up, it's not intentional. Uh, and Starly ran away. Very hard to battle them, because they just so quickly run away. Okay, let's try to be careful. So I'm at the same mistake twice. And hope that Starly doesn't see me here. Hide behind the tree if I need to. No, no, no. Oh, bump, bump it into the wall. No, 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 no. Uh, did that work? I think it worked. Gotcha. Okay, there's something. Gonna level up for one of our boodoofs. But that's the only two Starlies I see around here. Sort of curious about the, the bridge over this way. We didn't cross the bridge before. A Shinx wants to battle. Uh, not too interested in the moment. Hello. Oh, but they're interested in battling me. Okay, hold on. I, I guess I'm sort of forced to do that then. Uh, let's go for it. Come on, Rally. We got it, right? So we're gonna fight. For right now, we'll just do Leaf Age. Leaf Age might be good. It's only level two, but even now the battles are pretty tough. 10 versus two, you think would be a little bit easier. We are able to attack twice before Shinx can do anything, so definitely that's pretty impactful. There's a little bit of practice, or I guess progress. Uh, cool, and I think we got a new type of berry, the spoiled apricorn. An apricorn that's had its insides eaten. Hitting a Pokemon with this with one may stun the Pokemon, creating an opening for you to act. So maybe if we want to defeat some Starly, we might have to hit them with a spoiled apricorn first. Anyways, back over here, just sort of curious. Oh, there are some new Pokemon over there too. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're our first or recruit. Then you'd probably be all right. Okay, so that is definitely something to be concerned with, is that there are certain areas blocked off depending on if we're strong enough to tackle them. So well, let's definitely work on getting Starly filled out. I think that'll be the best way to get this done. That is not a Starly. But Badoof is not one we quite have finished yet. So we've gotten three out of six of them. So I think that one might be easier. Hmm. I wonder what level they need to be do to evolve. I think I'm a bit far out for that. Might just be faster to try to defeat them than to catch them. But at the same time, if I can get a heavy specimen, I don't quite know how to do that. Hmm. We'll see how this goes. For right now, I'll start a battle. So there's definitely a matter of decision making involved that's really interesting and fun. So we'll do Leaf Age for now. But what was going on with that other one? Oh my, <laughs> let's not get hit by that. That was super effective, so we do have to be careful. Uh, fight L and R, strong style, agile style. I have no clue what that means. Uh, let's try strong style. Whoa, what is this? Rod use Gus, that was cool. I don't know if I'm supposed to know what that is yet. Huh, neat. Anyways, I guess back in our adventures. Where are some more Starly? So the number one thing on my list, there's some Wurmple around, which is nice. There's actually a lot of Wurmple, so maybe I should take that opportunity, catch a couple of them. I don't know if that Wurmple saw me. Let's hope he didn't. Because if I catch one more, there's gonna be a little bit more progress. So we'll go for that. 
sneaky little couch here. Will it be enough? It won't. Oh, you're wiggling away. Wiggling a little wormple. What if I threw, oh, you know what? Let's try this out then. Right over here. Open, I don't get you too mad. Oh, did I, oh no, what happened? That was weird. There we go. I missed. <laughs> Let's try that again. Come on. Got it. So there's another Wurple and an Apricorn for our troubles. Always nice. Where are those Starly? Aha! There's one. No tall grass around here, though. It does make it a bit tricky. I mean, I think we've done enough that we could probably just go back and get our star ranking if we just want to try that out. Yeah, I don't think I can throw that far. Well, there's another one now. But once again, I think our distance is too great. We'd have to approach from the other angle. And it would just be so nice for our side quest if we could get that done, so. Still something I'm considering trying here. But while we're running around, being all sneaky, let's get some extra stuff. So there is that Starly. Got one more way down there. I might have tossed it too far. Actually, not far enough. Oh, that was fine. Let's go into sneaky mode. There's that Starly. Come on, almost there. Now this one's looking a bit tough, but as you can see, if we can catch it, it still wanna get to 10, but we're getting closer. If we defeat it though, that's so, it's so hard to defeat. Hmm, let's try it. Maybe I could just get an easy catch with it snuck up on like this. Come on, ah, darn. All right, they're proven to be tough. Maybe once we learn more about the game, what is over there, I wonder? But we have some missions in mind as it is, so I don't want to dilly-dally too much. There's so much to get to in this game, I'm sure we'll get to all of it as soon as we can. But eventually, sometimes you just gotta reel it in, right? Gotta go home, gather your, your resources so that we can try again. But I'll pick up some stuff on the way home. Got that there. It's very satisfying to do that, just toss and get something that makes a little jingle. I can get up here. I thought I saw, what is that? Some kind of stone? Iron chunk. Hmm, interesting. Ignoring these shanks for now. Hopefully they'll ignore me too. <laughs> oh, I got the sun out there. Gotta sneak up the hill. It's hard to climb, it seems. Oh, oh, gotta be careful. Apparently we're at Aspiration Hill. My aspiration is to get up the hill. <laughs> we got it, we got it. All right, back to the professor. I see you've caught two Pokemon. Can you report your findings? Yes. So we caught a Wurple and a Starly. It's something. And our reward for this survey is 194. It's not too much this time, but that's okay. Hopefully this is enough. We were so close to getting promoted. It seems you made some new observations. Let's take a look then. Mm -hmm, I see most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. So not quite. Oh, we did get level 10 for Rowlet. So now we have more information about our main starter here. The Grass Quill Pokemon, of course, grass and flying type. Um, it is. It will fly noiselessly on delicate wings. It has mastered the art of deftly launching dagger sharp feathers on, from those same wings. Very interesting. So, I guess we can see more information here, see what we've done so far. Time we've seen it use Leaf Edge. So even when we're battling with it, that counts. So if we do that five more times, certainly useful. And hopefully we can find more Rowlet out in the wild. But there are other moves here, as you can see, that'll definitely be worth using for tracking and researching Rowlet, like using Roost and Aerial Ace. Very cool. Times you've seen it use an agile or strong style move as well, so that is clearly important. We'll have to keep that in mind. And will that be enough? Yes, it will be. We are no longer no starred. You've made good progress on these research tasks, Zebra. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Silene. 
It's time you earned yourself a star. All right, back to town then, or back to village. Don't think it matters the difference too much here. Jubilee Village. Let Captain Slyly know that you've earned enough Pokemon research points to move up to the next rank. Okay, so I'll be pretty specific with my goal here and just move home. Don't want to talk to too many people right now, but it looks like it's getting later in the day. I don't know if this game has a proper day and night cycle, like some of the other Pokemon games where it just matches up with real life time. We'll talk to Salina for now. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Okay, well, here it is. Uh, was that enough? Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Indeed we have. With this, you've officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition team. New rank, one star. Nine more to go. You can now use heavy balls. Pokemon up to level 20 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now too. Have these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. Interesting, so getting a star in our profile is sort of like defeating a gym leader in other Pokemon games in terms of what it unlocks, what it enables you to do as a trainer. What's interesting then is will there even be gym leader battles or anything like it in this game? It really makes me wonder. You obtain the recipe for crafting heavy balls. And that's gonna be one apricorn and one black tumblestone, which I have not run into just yet. You obtained a recipe for crafting revives, which requires one Vivichoke and two medicinal leeks. Without a stranger like you should fall from the sky and get first among us like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple, enough to be judged on face value alone. Improving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. Getting to work on research tasks complete. For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. So let's dig in, get a nice meal to finish off the day. And it's been a very exciting day. We have the trial, we caught a bunch of Pokemon. So Zebra, my boy, I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Potato mochi tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Still, we'll be very busy from now on between our Survey Corps duties, or core duties, and between and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on that request from Beauregard? Yes, I have. We got the Wurple. The people of Jubilee aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see. So if problems arise, the Survey Corps get called to help. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, while others requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a request recently, Akari? What's it all about? About that, I was thinking maybe Zebra could handle it for me. I was told it would require a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... I mean, I'm happy to help, but I'm sure you're more than capable as well, Akari. Ah, uh, yes, that request came from Maya, the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in his suite since before the Galaxy team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them, including more about the local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. Okay, sounds good. So the one thing I wanna to do to wrap up today's episode is go talk to the people where we've gotten those side missions done and sort of cash those in the next day. Guess we're talking to Akari. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. All right. 
Thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. If you've caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastures to change up your team. I definitely want to do that for sure. So like I said, the pastures, talking to Akari again, those are the things we'll wait for next episode. For right now, my main goal is to talk to the people that we've started quests from. So we had, I think this was Bar Barregard maybe? Yep. Barregard wanted to see a Wurmple. Have you got a Wurmple you could give me? Yes, I do. Right over here. So we have several Wurmples. I might want to give them a one that doesn't have poison. Okay, they all have poison sting. Okay, because I want to keep poison sting for our own research purposes, for sure. But these all seem to be pretty identical. So we'll give this Pokemon. You really brought me one. You must be as good as the rumors say. I'd like to name this Wurmple right away. Now, I've been told a Wurmple will evolve into a Pokemon known as Beautifly. So I should give it a name with that in mind. Mm, this is a tough decision. Which one of these do you like best? Butisha, Butifred, or Bugene? <laughs> uh, I'll go with Butifred. Yeah, I like Butifred too. I guess that's decided then. I'll raise Butifred to be a Splendiferous Beautifly. Wait and see. <laughs> Wurmple can evolve completed. Dazzling Honey, nice. So we haven't gotten that before. I'll have to take a look at it. My little buddy here will evolve into the best beautifly there ever was. You'll see. I definitely can't wait to see it. So we didn't get enough info on Starly, unfortunately, to go back to this. As you can see, we still need three more research levels, but there was still more. If I take a look at my missions and requests, what was the other thing? The Shinx is yours. So we already did that, so we just gotta work on the Starly thing at some point in time. So I think that means we're all wrapped up for today's episode. What a wonderful adventure this has been. There are so much exciting different facets to this game that I can't wait to explore some more in these upcoming episodes. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.